In this video we will show you how to use Array on Outline in order to decorate outline objects. Any created object gets a fill and an outline type. For the purposes of this demonstration we will remove the fill of the object. If you go to Outline Properties you will see that there is also a special type called Array. Using this type, you can decorate the outline of the object with a design part or a clipboard item. Once you click on the array, the clipboard library appears for you to select any clipboard you want to use. Go through the clipboard library to find the artwork you like. Let's choose a starfish. Once you select the item, click Insert. Now you need to click and drag to define the size and the orientation of the inserted clipboard. The starfish is now placed multiple times on the shapes outline. You may also use any part of your design to decorate outline objects. Select any design part to be used as base object. Then select the outline object and Click on Array Type from the Outline Properties. The selected object is now on the outline of the bigger object. You may also use the Create Outline from Shapes option found on the right-click menu under the Array submenu or the same option from the Convert button. There are a couple of options which you can further adjust. Using Offset, you may place the copies to the inner or the outer part of the object. Using Item Rotation, you can rotate the copies on the outline. You may also adjust the spacing between them. Another very interesting option is the combination with cloned objects. If Add New Object as Clones is enabled while creating the array, then you can edit the outline of the base object and all the array copies are affected as well. For any object with array applied, you can come back anytime and change its properties. But if you want to make manual changes to specific parts on the array or handle them individually, you can choose the Separate to Objects option. Now the array objects are no longer parts of the array, they are individual objects. You only need to ungroup them before you proceed with editing.